The university, inherited from Northeastern Hill University, had functioned as Mizoram campus for 24 years since 1979, with seven functioning academic departments. Mizoram campus, Nehu, was started here in 1979 with three departments, the Department of Economics and English in 1979 and in 1980 with Education. So I remember very clearly the three of us, the three departments, we were housed in Chanmari next to each other and uh, Education was housed downstairs below us. And we used to take our classes in very, very dark buildings, spaces, basements, where we had to climb up and down very dark steps. And sometimes we would go without electricity. And I also remember that gradually after that, as we grew, when Mizoram University was born in 2001, we were seven departments by that time and there were by that time in 2001 I can say that we had over 300 PG students and about 5000 undergraduate students. Today as we all know we are now well over 1100 postgraduate students in the campus here and in the affiliated colleges taken all together along with our constituent college which is Pachunga University College, we have over 14,000 undergraduate students today. And as for research scholars both from the MPhil and PhD, today we have over 300 of them. We were given a single computer in the year 1999 just before, uh, two years before we became Mizoram University. We were so excited in our department with this computer. Now, when we used to have our university sports, for example, some of the sports, such as, let us say, tug of war, I remember was had in front of our department, that is, Department of Economics and English in Chanmari, right on the main road. And it used to be such fun wherein even teachers used to participate. And I remember with great fondness today and with respect a number of our colleagues both in the teaching and non-teaching circles who have left this world but who contributed so much to what Mizoram University is here today. I can say with pride that most officers that you will see in the banks and in the secretariat and in the offices most teachers that you will meet in the colleges and schools, entrepreneurs, businessmen, politicians, even ministers, they have been our products. They have passed through our portals. Earlier as Mizoram campus under Nehu and then later on as Mizoram University. Welcome to Mizoram University, a thriving academic community with its lush, green scenic hills located at Tanshal in the western outskirts of Aizol city. Hello, my name is Embassy Lobe and I'm presently studying my masters in the Department of Mass Communication. Mizoram University moved from its rented premises at Aizol in phases to its new campus at Tanshil, completing its transfer by 2006. Our university is a truly inspiring place to study, embarking on various programs in terms of academic, administrative and infrastructural development. What makes this university special? Well, let's find out. Mizoram University is an eco-friendly university and is one of the first universities in the country to run on solar power system. The academic buildings, hostels, Administrative blocks and the street lights within the campus are all supported by the solar photo voltaic power plant for electricity. The university was awarded a grade A by the Mizoram State Pollution Control Board which conducted a green audit of the university campus during the months of March and April of 2013. The 
The central library consists of a fully automated library system. Computerized bibliographic information is accessible through campus network using web OPAC. The radio frequency identification management system was installed as security for the library in 2010. Automation of examination and finance sections as well as intra-campus network and internet facilities are implemented which contribute to enhanced efficiency of the university work and study culture. Wi-Fi connectivity is now accessible for hostels, residences of the campus and some departments. Efforts are on to make the whole university Wi-Fi accessible. Mizoram University conducted its first NET examination in December 2002 and is now a full-fledged NET SLET center since 2004. The health center with three medical doctors, three staff nurses, two pharmacists, one dresser, medical laboratory technician and two ambulances provide 24-hour free medical care for the university fraternity. The Kendriya Vidyalaya School has been functioning within the university premises since 2010 from class 1 to class 5 with provisions to expand to class 12 in a phased manner. The new school buildings including quarters built at the cost of 8 crore 78 lakh 95,203 rupees within the campus will be ready for occupation by the end of the year. Postal and banking facilities have been brought within reach for the university fraternity with the provision of space within the campus grounds. There are 27 affiliated colleges and one constituent college, Patsunga University College. The university today with 30 departments under 7 schools offers Masters in Arts, Sciences, Social Work, Business Administration, Mass Communication, Library and Information Science, B.Tech in Information Technology, Computer Engineering and Electrical Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, MPhil and PhD courses. It also has the distinction of having unique departments like the Department of Horticulture, Aromatic and Medicinal Plants, the Department of Environmental Sciences and the Department of Extension Education and Rural Development. All students of Mizoram University, including research scholars, are provided with different fellowships and scholarships, uh, such as Rajiv Gandhi National Fellowship for SCST students, Molana Ajad National Fellowship for Minority Students, UGC Net Fellowship, Inspire Fellowship for brilliant science students, also meritorious students in the science team that is also a separate fellowship program. Over and above, we also have UGC non-net fellowship for MPhil and PhD students. Uh, it is non-net fellowship. Also, most of the students are getting Mizoram governments post-matric scholarship as well as PhD fellowship. Uh, therefore, almost all students are covered under scholarship and fellowship. And the university also provides university buses for transportation in a highly subsidized rate. The university life 
is lively and diverse with 50% of the teaching staff and 16% of students coming from various parts of the country. Visits from eminent dignitaries, scholars and research scientists from India and abroad on short-term assignments constantly take place under various schemes. Two teachers from the university are currently in the US under Fulbright Postdoctoral Fellowship. The university provides facilities for disabled and visually challenged students and staff. All buildings in the university campus have ramps for wheelchairs. Disabled friendly washrooms are also available in the hostels. The university currently has two Padma Shri awardees from amongst its teachers. Other professors have also received a number of awards for their outstanding contribution in various fields. The university monitors the central SSA scheme in Mizoram state and conducts annual science camps for school children under the program called INSPIRE. Faculty and students play an active role in extension activities like the Red Ribbon Club, Techno Club, NSS and Spikmeke Heritage Club. Several members of the faculty and students are also actively involved in social services, some of which are curriculum stipulated. Here at the Department of Biotechnology facility with high-end equipments has been set up by the university to facilitate scientific research. We are in the Department of Biotechnology, Mizoram University. So here I would like to address some of the achievements that we have uh, achieved during the last four or five years. So our department started in 2007 and uh, in this particular lab of plant biotechnology, uh, besides the other facilities that we have in animal uh, microbes and other facilities and besides the uh, departmental projects like uh, BIF facilities, Biotech Hub. In the last um, so many years we are able to bring about uh, around 10 crores as a research project. What basically we are going, we have achieved is that in this particular booklet form which is the outcome of the of the project that we have undertaken since 2008, uh, we have covered around 80 hectares in Mizoram, in uh, Mizoram itself. Like, and we have um, uh, we have transferred the benefits to about 183 beneficiaries in terms of banana cultivation, strawberry, uh, and uh, and other other materials. The Department of Environmental Science has developed a botanical garden. The botanical garden was established during the year uh, 2008 to 2012. The total area of the botanical garden is uh, seven uh, hectares of land. One is that greenhouse component, and the second one is fruit garden, third one is herbal garden, and the fourth one is bamboo setum, and the fifth one is arboretum. And herein we have uh, one uh, very important uh, instrument that is uh, air monitoring uh, instruments and that in this uh, room we have been monitoring the certain uh, air pollutants so every details is being recorded in the computer and then so that we can have uh, what kind of pollutants are there and what is the density of pollutants that is uh, there in the air uh, within Mizoram and particularly around the university campus as, as well as the ambient air pollutants around the university campus as well as Isol City and elsewhere. This air monitoring uh, instrument is only available in Mizoram University in the whole of Northeast India. In two hectares of university land, the Department of Horticulture, Aromatic and Medicinal Plants have planted several species of banana and citrus fruits as well as strawberries, medicinal and aromatic plants on experimental basis. In this farm we have banana, then papaya, then strawberries, uh, citrus. Uh, in citrus we have three, four different species like uh, kasi mandarin, then asam lemon and uh, sweet orange. These three varieties we have, then grapes. 
So we are maintaining that in banana we have uh, 12 varieties. We are maintaining different germplasms. We collected it from different places of Mizoram. Then in papaya we are doing some MSc dissertation work there and uh, with a red lady variety. The Department of Social Work has uh, many field work related activities and projects apart from the theory classes. The teachers are also having some projects, UGC related projects and of course with other agencies also and so we are involved in empowering the disabled people, the differently able people uh, in Mizoram. So we are involved in you know like uh, creating awareness, training and distributions of you know uh, appliances, dis distributions of aids and of course uh, training uh, you know manpower so that they, they could actually you know at the locality level or the village level or at the community level help uh, those who are differently abled. We have uh, many equipment that are useful for uh, study in proteomics, molecular biology, cell biology, chromatography, etc. Using uh, these uh, major facilities of central instrument, we are hoping that our uh, teachers, scientists, researchers will get world class facility to conduct research and produce uh, quality papers in high impact factor journal as well as our research will equally help local people. The Department of Geology regularly monitors the ground movement or earthquake using the permanent geodetic GPS station at the university campus. This permanent geodetic GPS station is able to monitor ground movement within Mizoram and also extending to the Indo-Burmese arc. Every year we are organizing Mizoram University's festival and we also organize the phrases and parting socials for the students who, 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 uh, who are newly admitted as well as who already passed out the university. Then we are also organizing the sports meet, university sports meets every year. Then besides that, we have participated at various inter-university youth festival. Then we are also organizing a uh, trekking program we visited some places in Mizoram, like uh, the Dampatega Reserve. Last year we have visited Dampatega Reserve and this uh, Rayek Mountain Forest Reserve. We also organizing some, some sort of discussions with visiting dignitaries. Last year also we are organizing this kind of discussion with the U.S. Consul General who came from Calcutta. Mizoram University has signed a memorandum of understanding with various national and international institutes for research collaboration and exchange programs such as IIMC, National Institute of uh, Orthopedically Handicapped, Zoram Energy Development Agency, ZEDA, with the Department of uh, Environmental Engineering, Guangdong University, South Korea, and uh, MOU is under finalization with the Minnesota University, USA. Today, we look ahead to the future with enthusiasm under the able leadership of our Vice-Chancellor, Professor R. Lalthan Luanga. One of the main aims of uh, the university is to make it a center for academic excellence. For this, we have taken few steps like introduction of semester system at the undergraduate level and choice-based credit system at the postgraduate level as well as uh, students feedback on teaching and uh, curriculum. More reforms are necessary and will be uh, initiated in the near future like possibility of credit transfer between Mizoram University and other universities. The university is planning to utilize this uh, 
technologies for its teaching and uh, administration. The efficiency of the administration will be increased by introducing e-governance. We'd like to introduce vocational and skill development courses in the university. Our students will be ready to meet the challenges and the requirements of the employment market when they graduate from the university. We would like to see in the future students, research scholars and faculty members from different parts of the country and outside the country in our campus. In today's convocation, successful PhD and MPhil research scholars as well as postgraduate and undergraduate candidates present themselves for the conferment of their degree from the Vice-Chancellor who does so with the following words. By virtue of the powers vested in me as Vice-Chancellor of the Mizoram University, I admit you to the Master's degree in various postgraduate disciplines of the Mizoram University and I charge you that ever in your life and conversation you saw yourselves worthy of the same. These men and women are now armed with their doctorates, postgraduate and graduate degrees. Most of them will now look forward to a future beyond the confines of Mizoram University, while others will remain to continue further studies and research works. But wherever they go and whatever they choose to do, their lives will now be forever impacted by their years of learning and experience at the university. It takes uh, a lot of hard work, especially in commerce department, because there's a lot of, uh, uh, the syllabus is quite uh, big, so you have to work really hard, like you can't just prepare uh, it for one night. So I think uh, hard work is the most important factor. Actually, to be, to be very honest, I was not planning that actually I'll get a gold medal. I simply did my hard work and finally the results came out. Yeah, with hard work and dedication, yeah. the gold medal is today. Yeah. So, um, what are your future plans? Uh, right now, I'm preparing for my further studies and I, I'll be preparing for MTech and I'll appear gate exam. All right, thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Mr. Khan, how do you feel today being your daughter? I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud my daughter's gold medal. I'm having four children. All of them are the engineers. See the gold medals. She's the gold medals. Yes. Uh, Auntie, how do you feel coming all the way from Shillong? Very good. Yeah. All right. So we wish you all the best. <laughs>